boys and girls. Welcome to Back to Hours, right on your sofa. And this is my sofa, my reclining sofa. My name's Molly. You might know me from driving the land train round the town, the little green train. Well, tonight, I'm going to read you a bedtime story, which is about a little red train. And my mate Duffy, who's a driver. And the book is called The Little Red Train to the Rescue. And it's written by Benedict Blathway. One wet and windy day, Duffy Driver lit the fire in the little red train and collected three trucks from the goods yard. The trucks were soon loaded and Duffy Driver and the little red train set off for Birchcombe village, high up in the hills. Chuff, chuff, chuffity chuff, it went chuff, chuff, chuffity chuff, it went chuff. But as they came to the bend, what did they see? Animals on the line. Duffy put the brakes on. Screech! And the little red train stopped just in time. When the animals were back in the farmyard, the little red train set off again. It went chuff, chuff, chuffity chuff. It went chuff, chuff, chuffity chuff. But as it came round the bend, what did they see? The river had flooded the road. Duffy put on the brakes with a screech. And the little red train stopped just in time. They rescued the passengers from the bus on the bridge and the little red train set off again. It went chuff, chuff, chuffity chuff. It went chuff, chuff, chuffity chuff. But as they came round the bend, what did they see? The wind had blown down a tree. Duffy put the brakes on again with a screech. And the little red train stopped just in time. Everyone helped to move the tree and the little red train set off again. It went chuff, chuff, chuffity chuff. It went chuff, chuff, chuffity chuff. It went chuff. But as the track got steeper and steeper, the little red train got hotter and hotter until pop! Hiss! The safety valve had blew off the boiler. Duffy driver put on the brakes with a screech and they stopped to let the little train cool down. Up in the hills there was snow so they set off again more slowly. Chuff, 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 chuffity chuff, 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 chuffity chuff. But as they came round the bend, what did they see? A great pile of snow was blocking the land. Duffy put on the brakes with a screech. <gasps> and the little red train stopped just in time. They all helped to clear the snow and the little red train set off again. It went chuff, chuff, chuffity chuff. It went chuff, chuff, chuffity chuff. But as they came to the, la to the last stretch of the land, what did they find? The points had frozen. The little red train went off the wrong way. Duffy put on the brakes with a And the little red train stopped just in time. The signal man poured hot water on the points and with a chuff, chuff, chuffity chuff, went chuff, chuff, chuffity chuff, the red train ran on towards the station of Birchcombe. Everyone was there to greet the train. Duffy driver blew the whistle. Ha ha! <whistles> and put on the brakes with a screech oh. and the little red train stopped at the platform just in time 
the passengers climbed down and helped to unload the supplies. And Duffy the driver was given a special tea by the postmistress. And I'm just about to have a special treat myself. Oh, look what I'm going to have. Oh, my favourites. Mm, I love them, don't you? Nana. And be good. Tara. Tara. Don't you blow me whistle again? <coughs> Get to bed. And don't forget, boys and girls, to tune in next Monday for another bedtime story. Chuff, chuff, chuffity chuff, chuff, chuff.